Minister Philip Davis met with the Bahamas' chargé to Haiti and his team of diplomats Wednesday after violent outbreaks prompted their mandatory evacuation from the troubled island's nation last week. Their discussions amidst continued government instability, as Haiti remains without a prime minister since the assassination of Prime Minister Moïse, police protest assaults on their forces, and here at home, Border Patrol works to ward off migrants. The discussion this morning was first of all to get an assessment of the way they viewed what was happening in Haiti that was given to us and then to assess when it will be safe for them to return and we will continue continually um, monitor the situation in Haiti to determine when they ought to go back because it is important that we understand what's going on in Haiti for our intelligence to ensure that we could continue to protect our borders from the migration and the only way we can be able to do that is to have a presence in Haiti. As political stability continues to be sought, the Bahamas Chargé says as he sees it, only external intervention will prompt significant stability. As it stands now in my opinion, there can be no resolution with what's going on now unless there is an cessation of some sort of military force. I don't, personally I don't see it. Diplomats in Haiti are usually relatively safe. And I say relatively safe. As in any, any big city, there are areas that it don't make sense going, you ought not to go. And Haiti is the same. Um, but we, we Bahamian diplomats, we live in a uh, secure um, area. We work in a secure area. We have to traverse the roads, um, but we, we get sufficient uh, information to allow us to make sensible decisions as to whether when we move, and, and, and how late we can stay at the office or whether we stay at home. Meantime, CARICOM talks will return to the familiar agenda item of Haitian stability when delegates meet in Nassau this month. Prime Minister Davis is looking to the region's larger countries to add muscle to the desperate uphill climb. Well, well one of the things that came out of uh, my briefing this morning is that the people of Haiti uh, are expecting and, and our desires of international um, intervention. We have been talking about that from at least July of last year at the CARICOM Heads meeting. We have been engaged with the US and Canada to, to assist in this intervention because the Caribbean, even though, as well, even though the CARICOM as a regional body wants to have the situation in Haiti fixed, we don't have the capacity to do it by ourselves. And so this coming heads meeting that we're going to be held here in the Bahamas, we will definitely have a, a response to how we do intervene and how it will look at the end of the day. But, I, but the bottom line is that Haiti has to be fixed before we see any progress in our fight against irregular migration. Keeping you in the know, this is OPM Press Now.